Hey there friends, how's it going? This video is sponsored by Two Point Campus. We're about to do some wacky challenges. Uh, I'm here for the interview. Am I interrupting? <clears throat> a university should be a center of learning excellence. I've got some great ideas that'll ensure we get the best grades possible. Yeah, sorry, that sounds awful. If it's not fun, no one's going to come. So in this challenge, you need to create the most rock and roll university. I want to see the best party campus you can build. The most Sound good? Uh, yes, yes, sounds good. Rocks. Archaeology is all about rock, so let's go with that. Oh wait, I can have more than one? That's pretty rocking. I need to make a dig site and I'm in the middle of the city. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? Okay, you know what? Let's just not ask the city for permission. We're just gonna dig up the front of the school as our dig site. There's like some amazing town square here full of culture and then I'm like, I'm gonna dig for rocks. Okay, this guy's dabbing, so he's definitely getting into the school of rock and roll. Wait, is he teaching rock or rock? <laughs> I would have made a very different version of the school of rock. In fact, can I rename my school to University of Rock and Rock? Damn it, I don't have that authority yet. I guess it is my first day. Oh, there's a rock. <laughs> I'll unlock that. I didn't even check the price of it. Average assessment score is currently minus 100%. I don't even know how I'm doing this poorly. I have just opened it. Like, it doesn't seem possible to be minus 100%. I feel like I'm a student again doing this challenge like they needed to be more specific it's like miss you told me to do my homework not to do it well you need to be more specific but with the university of rock and rock getting off to a great start it was time to admit some students okay i'm gonna build them a little dormitory so that they can sleep when they need to rock and roll is all about getting a decent night's sleep it's also about having parties right next to the dormitory yes look at that i think i can schedule events as well in fact i'm gonna have parties just all year round so we've got this window covered book that event and it's on repeat schedule another one on repeat another one and another one okay that's tens of thousands spent on a year-round party for the school that'll help boost our mind Minus 100%. Uh, that guy's making bombs. Okay, you know what? Let's just not talk about him. Look at the yearly schedule. It's just parties all year. Okay, I gotta be careful. I've blown half my money, most of it on parties. They want a library. Oh my god, look at this picture. I feel like if I don't build her the library, she'll come out of that picture and kill me. Okay, let's build that onto the party room. That makes sense, right? I'm gonna kind of loop it around here so that it's big enough. I need a bathroom too. I think that'll do it. I don't really need sinks. Hygiene isn't very raw and or roll one shower cubicle and a nice big window just looking straight on in there from the library yes someone found treasure honestly that is my best hope here it's worth a thousand there's some old boots i'm doing really well out of this <laughs> this is money laundering for sure no one would buy old boots for a thousand dollars but hey that paid for one eighth of this party that i got going on i feel like if i don't want to hire him something terrible is gonna happen <laughs> i don't really have the best way of hiring people do i they're trying to sleep Meanwhile, next door, full on party. Hey, that's the price of rock and roll, am I right? I'm gonna put in some windows so they can see the lights through there. Oh, they put up curtains, spoiled sports. At least they didn't put them up in the bathroom. <laughs> They're just looking straight in. But look at that confidence. You gotta appreciate that. Look at him, he does not care. I'm gonna put a cubicle there so someone has to stare at them the entire time they're studying. Uh-oh, what have we got here? The consequences of rock and roll. Don't just run away from it. Oh my god, the speed of him. To be fair, he might need bed. Oh my god, that smile. He's getting the shakes. Too many milkshakes. Where have you been getting milkshakes? So then I made the greatest discovery of all you can just buy rocks like i didn't know that was possible you just buy rocks like as an adult no one can stop you and my university is all about rocks so i just kept buying rocks i don't know do i have the authority to do that or should i like check with someone like i want to invest a few thousand in just rocks and i know what they'd say but you're actively digging can't you use those rocks no i want to use these rocks they're imported from Ireland. I'm gonna buy this digger truck as well, just in case they want to speed up the archaeology progress and damage everything while they're at it. Wait, I'm getting an inspection? Environmental inspection? Oh, that should be fine. Oh, it's the mayor. I hope they don't mind that I didn't seek approval for this. I mean, there's nothing we can do now. What would we do? Dig up? Impossible. Can you finish, like, digging up this stuff? Like, this is some Star 
Star Wars memorabilia. That's got to be worth a lot. They're all too busy partying. Uh, what, what is this? Writer's block. <laughs> and they want something to eat. Oh, of course, I need to feed you. What's healthy for a, a growing person? Cheesy gubbins machine. Yeah, that seems healthy. We're expecting frog rain on campus. What the hell? Is there a plague coming? Like, I kind of understand. I'm coming across some pretty cursed artifacts. And I'm also doing some pretty cursed things myself. Like, even the fact that I'm making a wall of vending machines probably deserves a bit of a plague. But don't blame me. Blame capitalism. We're here to make money, not teach people. There we go. So you're just greeted with a wall of vending machines before you actually get around into the class. Some of the people here don't look too good. I think they're just hungry, though. Don't worry. Get yourself some cheesy gubbins and you're gonna be fine. I have to earn 300,000. Honestly, the fact that I'm going up in money is a first. <laughs> I gotta think of more ways to exploit these students. One student has considered dropping out. No, don't. I've been there. I've done that. And I became a YouTuber. Don't let the same thing happen to you. What do they need? A toilet. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think most people would drop out if they couldn't get a toilet. There's one cubicle for the entire school, and it never gets cleaned. Campus intruders, please not come in. Wait, campus intruders? Where? I don't know why you'd want to intrude. The first thing you're greeted with is just vomit and trash. It's pretty rock and roll, though. What clubs could I get just to make my, my students a little bit happier? Power nap club. <laughs> sleep better, sleep harder, sleep faster. That sounds like a pretty rock and roll club. Everybody's sleep talking about it. Just for that pun alone, I'm buying it. Oh yeah, the intruders. <laughs> I forgot. At least they stand out. Okay, so how do I um how do I murder this man? Can we put him in the pit, perhaps? Make him fight like a, one of our gladiators, like our strongest student. I suggest this guy, because he's pretty pissed off. Actually, no, he he wishes he was pissed off. He's he needs the bathroom pretty bad. He's bursting. Okay, not him. This one. This one looks like a psychopath. You're in. Oh wait, gladiator fights aren't an option. Okay, what else can I do? Oh, this guy's a giant. For my security, yeah, I'll get a giant. He's laughing because he's tricked me. In you come. <laughs> There's such a joke point here where they're trying to get in. I think the problem is, is that I have one cubicle and about seven drink machines. So they're all drinking and then they can't go to the bathroom. Oh my God, they really need to use the bathroom. Look at giant. He's chasing the rat around. It's a little cat and mouse chase, if you will. Yeah, there you go. That'll get rid of him. You're all soggy now. Doesn't help all the students that really need to pee. They're like running around and they see this water gun. Once student is very unhappy and refusing to pay their fees. What? Okay, that's where I draw the line. You know what? You can't quit. You're expelled. Gone. <laughs> Zero tolerance policy. Oh my god, his face. That's the definition of smiling but crying on the inside. Oh, and there it all comes out. Okay, we need a staff room and a student room because everyone's getting really angry. One chair should do it, right? That's what teenagers and young adults need in their lives, right? I'll unlock the partition wall and just divide that up. There you go. Now the rest of the room won't distract you. Everyone's energy is just zapped, probably because there's a 24-7 <laughs> year-long party going on. Honestly, at some point you think you'd get tired. <laughs> Another person not paying their fees. Can I just, like, banish them to the pit? Wait, they said I can't perform under these conditions. Please buy this thing. Those are my conditions. Six people agree. It's a poster. You know what? I'm willing to compromise. Yes, I'll buy you this poster and hide it in a place that you can never actually see it. There you go. Only this person can see it, who is just an eternal prisoner of the school now. They can't get out. It's pretty rock and a roll. We are approaching the end of the academic year. I hope I get an award. And let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get an award. Just in case I have all of my fingers and my toes crossed, but I am reasonably confident. Also, when I thought about it, I could just take out a massive loan because then I get the money and I'd be passing on this challenge map to someone else to do their challenge. So then the loan is their problem. Like I get all the fun without the responsibility. And now I can buy as many things or as many rocks as I want. And it's the bank's problem. I'm just glad I didn't have to give them a reason for the loan. Just like, I want some money. And I won't tell you why. If you notice that there are hundreds and hundreds of rocks around the campus, just ignore it. It's a coincidence. Oh, this is the part where I win all of my awards. What? <laughs> no, there must be some mistake. I think the assistant running the parties quit. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> it's like a year of solid partying. I'm going to pick this guy to run the parties because I like his haircut. I like that his name is haircut and he's too stupid to even face the correct way. So he probably won't even realize the horrible position I'm putting him in. What are you looking for? He's, he's digging under the school. <laughs> is this allowed? Like I have a whole dig site here. Do I want to add another course? Maybe uh 
funny business. I love a bit of funny business. I think this place was already a bit of a clown college, but <laughs> it's good to make it official. Okay, I don't want to ruin any lives here by hiring a teacher that's going to break down. He was already having a breakdown. Oh, uh, this person. Yeah, Molly, welcome to the team. Oh, wait, what? I, I think the person must have died. <laughs> They're haunting the room now. I see the question mark, but I don't see the person. Okay, do we have any teacher that specializes in funny business? There you go, Jason Colossus. You can tell by your little smile. You love a bit of funny business. Imagine showing up for your class and they're not even done building the classrooms. And I need an archaeology teacher because apparently my other one quit. Ah, oh, you look like you like funny business. Welcome to the school. <laughs> and by funny business, I mean psychological torture. Oh, why'd you get sick on the floor? Why not get sick in your saxophone or something? Unattractive environment. Well, it's your fault. Oh, wait, there's a lot of vomit around here. Well, you know what? We have a single janitor. He's capable of looking after the whole school. Too many milkshakes is the biggest problem somehow <laughs> joint power nap club that gives you the ability to sleep anywhere on campus but realistically it's just an excuse to sleep anywhere that's not next to the everlasting party all right a big part of rock and roll is being cool so we're gonna cool down this entire school it's too cool for school the health complaints will say <laughs> they're freezing already <gasps> clown trunk <laughs> now we're talking oh oh god it god's angry again now what i'm doing first the plague now this or we just hit a gas main <laughs> one or the other stop panicking that's not pretty rock and roll of you all right i bought five of the same game meat wizard <laughs> everyone's favorite i think a light has fallen down or something let's just ignore it oh <gasps> Clown, yes. Welcome to Clown College. He's got the giggles. You'll fit right in. Oh, it's inspection time, but I'm confident this will go well. He can't hang around long enough because it's freezing, so he won't be able to find all the flaws. Gonna unlock this car booth as well. I think it looks really cool and retro, so I just want to put this in somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Everything is in the way. Oh my god. He was running, and then when the seed spawned, he was like, you know what? I don't mind. Yeah, I could go for sitting down. So I decided to check in with my students and see how they were all doing, and some of them not so good. Then I came up with my genius strategy that I could just get rid of them. They're bringing down the average grade, so if I just get rid of them, then that bad boy just keeps going up and up and up. Basically, what I'm saying is don't come to this school if you don't already know what you're enrolling for. <laughs> it also started to line up that everyone in archaeology was failing and also sick. So I think digging without permission might have been a bad idea. Maybe there was some cursed stuff down there. But long story short, everyone in archaeology has basically been expelled. <laughs> Stop throwing a tantrum, okay? Would Indiana Jones throw a tantrum? I've also decided that I want a lot more fire around the people who are like digging all day. I also want it to be just extremely hot, so when they go in, it feels even colder in there with all the AC. I'm starting to think everything would be much better if I left immediately. No, you're wrong. Now we're talking. Look at them go. Find me some riches. Oh, look, you can buy heaters as well. Okay, I'm installing heaters around the dig site. There we go. That'll keep you nice and warm. A group of party crashers have invaded the campus. I don't see them. I mean, I can't really blame them for wanting to get in. Actually, no, I can. This is a horrible party. What am I talking about? Wait, are you? Oh, you're the invader. I mean, I don't think he's really hurting anyone. <laughs> just kind of running around. Okay, he just ran in and threw down some trash. Kill him, security. Yes, get him. Or just spray him with water. I mean, it's freezing cold. He's definitely going to get pneumonia or something. We're going to send him out of Two Point Campus and straight into Two Point Hospital. But you know what? I'm starting to think my university is the bomb. The fuse has been lit and I must pass it before the whole thing implodes on itself. Anna Chess is taking over from my bills. Lucky girl, am I right? So let's see what she thinks of what I've done here. Rocks? Well, I guess we all have our own interpretations of what the challenge was. And you know what? You can't really say anyone's wrong. You know, this is pretty subjective. It's open to interpretation. What's happening? <laughs> I feel like it's so big brain that I can't even understand it. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. I like that. This person is just vomiting everywhere. This is gonna be my problem. I'm starting the challenge from this situation. It's too hot outside and too cold inside. There's air conditioning everywhere. They are sad, they are sick, they are stinky, and they are freezing. I mean, when you say it with that tone, anything would sound bad. Can we get some more positivity, please? I, I guess it's not as bad as it could be, although it's it's pretty bad. Yeah, you see? Always look on the bright side. Okay, on to the second challenge, which I am inheriting from Dan, RT Game. So as I'm sure you've heard, the first university went absolutely 
amazing and I'm ready for my next assignment. However busy you are, it's important to stop and smell the roses. Oh yeah, trust me, I understand. I'm not overworking myself, but um, I, I also have to be aware of the fact that the last time I went to smell the roses, I hurt my nose. Um, I went in a little bit too close. I mean, theoretically. Oh yeah, I know what that word means too. It's a fun one, I use it all of the time. Whatever you build, you must always have more gardens than classrooms. Float it up! I gotta tell you, this job is getting a little weird. Like, I, I don't know much. I, I haven't been in the real world, you know. I just make YouTube videos and whatnot. And, um, sorry about the no pants as well. People don't really see me from the waist down, usually. But all I'm saying is, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Okay, so this is Dan's rock and roll college. We took very different approaches on how many bathrooms to have. <laughs> also, the amount of beds. Although I think some might be using them as bathrooms too. Oh, their bar is very rock and roll. Are those nights? Oh, long nights at the bar, I suppose. I mean, they're pretty tall. And I must say, their lecture halls are amazing. As in, they're actually a maze of cacti. I don't know what's very rock and roll about that. Oh, that's pretty rock and roll. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Some kind of entrance for a spy stealth obstacle course. Oh, I was right. We took similar approaches with aircon. I like that. No maintenance. Yeah, I like that too. What is this? This is just bags of money. <laughs> oh god, he's got a lot of money. And of course, he spelt out soup with inflatable party pools. I was going to do something like this as well for Anna's, but mine was a bit more edgy. And <laughs> I thought maybe I shouldn't. She'd just launch my game and get banned from Twitch. Okay, well, first of all, before I start building my gardens, I have to fix this. There we go. Done. <laughs> so now instead of soup, it says so. Up. Amazing what a comma can do. Do these count as gardens? <laughs> like, I, I guess. Like, they're actually battlegrounds, but that's a garden for the bloodthirsty, I suppose. How many classrooms do we have? <laughs> Four, five. Do these count? I'm guessing so. Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. 13. Oh, that's a lucky number, right? I'm just realizing now that last challenge I should have put in millions of classrooms, but it's too late now. I just thought of a way to make my life easier. Yeah, the, the stealth stuff, we don't do that anymore. You can go home. <laughs> Your degree is invalid. I feel like the spy room should have been next to the bathroom. <laughs> Although you wouldn't really need to be a spy to spy on people in the bathroom, would you? Oh my god, I just realized the private tuition room looks like this. What an intimidating space to learn. <laughs> I feel like I just want an open mic in his uh, little party room all the time. So like anyone can just get up on stage and ruin everyone else's evening. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm basically encouraging protest after everyone invested their money and then I just canceled the curriculum. There we go. Open mic every night. So I'm still gonna keep spy school. I'm just not going to teach it. We have any gardening courses? I need someone to look after all these gardens I'm about to build. You know what? I'm gonna teach the dark arts because if I know anything from Harry Potter, the dark arts teacher dies every year and I'm gonna take out massive insurance policies on them. Okay, I'm gonna put this garden in P. Like, not in the dirty way, like, the, it's literally in P. You know, in fact, this is a nice, easy, spammable garden. I'd like to throw them randomly. <laughs> no pattern. Okay, we got 13 of those bad boys. At least that evens me out for what's there, and then I'll build bigger ones for whatever classrooms I build. Oh my god, we have three janitors to do all of this work? Well, let me tell you something, they're not doing a very good job. You are all fired. Look at the state of this place. I hired you to do a job, and you're just dabbing. Yes, look at all these rewards I've earned. And Definitely Dan didn't earn. I earned them. I'm gonna buy cool stuff with this. I don't know what'll happen when these timers run out. Like, am I just gonna lose? So I started to realize that everyone was boiling. And at the start, I was like, hey, you're dressed as a knight. You're in full metal armor. That's a you problem. But then I realized that there was just radiators everywhere. But you know what? Dan put a lot of effort into that when he was building this map. I don't want to just delete them. So I just try and balance them out. Like, put in loads of air cons. So they're just fighting each other. So it basically ended up up freezing in the middle and burnt on the outside. Just like my cooking. Any other temperatures need fixing? I imagine it's too cold in here and he needs some radiators. <laughs> the heating bill for this place. There's definitely some fraud involved. There we go. <laughs> this side of the class is boiling now. I feel like these people aren't getting their money's worth <laughs> just staring at the back of the seat. But I mean, they are learning like funny business. And this class is a bit of a joke in itself. So it's real time learning. I need a dark arts teacher, which looks the most like Snape. 
This fella. <laughs> oh, wait, he doesn't teach magic. God damn it. You look unstable. Welcome to the team. Oh my god, the bedrooms are so warm. I didn't realize there's a radiator in every space of the wall. <laughs> The students are still hoping that they're gonna get taught spy stuff. Welcome to adulthood. There's no such thing as secret spies. And also, you just got scammed. Oh god, the aircon can only go so high. <laughs> it's not working. All I've done is made it extra noisy when they're trying to sleep. Okay, well, that'll have to do. That's, that's all I can do. I leveled up. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. It's a fantastic university. The only thing we teach you is read the fine print when you're signing an agreement. They're dropping out because they're tired. Oh, this doesn't seem like an issue for me. Like, go to Two Point Hospital if you need these things solved. There's a mole on campus. Do you mean like a spy? Like someone's leaking this to the press or like an actual animal? Education is non-refundable. Yeah, lucky for me. <laughs> Although you could argue I'm not teaching them, so it's not really education. Oh, there's plenty of gardens here. <laughs> Just spamming them. And you need some sheep to beat up with that training of yours? Like, what even do we teach here? <laughs> They're getting Fs. I don't have any facilities for the spy class or the dark wizardry. So I need to find this mole. Look for people who are clouded in confusion. I think I spot- Oh no, they just stink. Never mind. All right, you know what? I'm fine. This whole place is confusing. Let's blame it on the mole. I'm trying to make the garden seem more natural by just making a literal forest out here. That's a lot of red. <laughs> We're also being um, invaded, apparently. Now would be a good time to have some spies. But I think they're all busy, like, thinking it's part of the course to find the class room like you gotta use spy techniques but no it's just not there so i started to realize that maybe dan had all of those janitors for a reason and there was a lot of maintenance if i'm a man of anything i'm a man of stubbornness so i am just committing to this if it goes up in flames it goes up in flames that's not my fault well, it is, but I'll defend to the death that it's not. Okay, how is this on fire? Like, it's made out of wood. Like, I know wood is flammable, but how did the fire begin? How is it sparking? What's this? Oh, it's just some pee, I think. The fact they're getting C's is a minor miracle. I'm making a lot of money. It turns out if you just enroll a load of people, but don't spend anything on actually teaching them, profits are way up. Honestly, average exam result not bad, considering we didn't even teach a lot of our students. <gasps> Did I get an award? <laughs> Cultivated the best social relationships. I mean, I'm not surprised. They have nothing else to do. Okay, you know what? I've decided we're gonna teach spy stuff again. <laughs> Everyone's leaving. I might be too late. And we are going to spy on the bathroom. Oh, it's starting to make me add a lot of classrooms now. A panic room. Well, I feel like the panic room should be big because, well, there's a lot of panic going on. So we've got the course here to run and... And then the rest just to panic in. You can panic over in this area. This is the ugliest build ever. I'm just sticking them in where they fit. Okay, will this work? I put a classroom in the hallway, but I put a door on the other side. So, like, they can get through. <laughs> They'll just have to interrupt the class. I think I'm gonna need some more gardens. There we go. Stick in a few more. Four students are unhappy and refusing to pay. But there's so many gardens. Okay, we've got everything we need. I have no janitors, so maybe I'll just sell the lecterns and, and put in new ones. I am a genius. If something's on fire, just sell it. And the Egypts are fucking buying it off me. All the students are coming back for the semester. They don't look very happy about it, though. Okay, I have kind of ruined everything for Anna, so I guess I need to make something nice to kind of cancel each other out. There we go. A chessboard. My peace offering. It's only got a little bit of pee on it. Now I gotta make the pieces somehow. So I started building my chessboard, picking each piece. Uh, some parts were a little too big, and maybe the knight looks a little like a dog instead of a horse. Honestly, I probably should have used the literal knights as the knights, but I, I couldn't figure out a way to, like, imprison them properly. Properly. And I debated making this little chef uh, my queen because uh, he's just adorable. He's an adorable little queen. But I figured actually if I made them the pawns, there'd be more of them, like more cuteness to look at. So I went with that and made the diamond thing, the queen. I just like to think all of the students are like, I'm really struggling here. Not only am I failing all of my classes, some aren't even available to me. And I'm also dying of heat stroke. Where is the administrator? I see your point, but he's busy outside making an unplayable chessboard. There we go. <laughs> 
Okay, how are things over here? Oh, it's still catastrophic. Okay, so the chessboard isn't helping is what you're saying. Okay, everyone, I heard your complaints in the bathroom, so I've changed the tiles. I hope that addresses your concerns. I must be so confused why the previous administrator installed so much facilities, and then the next one gets rid of all of maintenance, just bans it. I mean, we have a magician who teaches dark arts. Surely he can fix it for free. How are the classes going? Uh, dark arts is not doing so good. Yes, yeah, some people are just failing completely. I mean, maybe they're just not wizard and witches. Like, this person has no excuse other than having dry mouth. Like, he's getting an F, but his learning rate is pretty good. His personal goal is wants to see a bat poster. It's like, where would you see yourself in five years? Um, owning a bat poster? No one is even enjoying all those gardens I installed. I feel like I'm not being appreciated. <laughs> they're like, maybe because of, you know, everything else. But I'm pretty happy with with that. I want to see what Anna thinks of this wonderful creation she has to work with. <laughs> What's happening? Every single thing that can break, it's broken. This is great. There's a bubble party. <laughs> I love that because I just kind of left that problem fester and I like seeing what it actually evolved into. We never addressed that mole. And now for some reason, they're all gathered in a group just like, Whoa, what, what's going on, everyone? No, they are getting dizzy. Wait, what? Wait a second. This is a chessboard. No way. Kevin, you actually built this? Ah, uh, yes, my chessboard. The one redeeming thing I've built. I'm gonna forgive you everything else you did. Check and mate, everyone. Doesn't matter how much bad shit you do. As long as you do one nice thing, it's all good. Thank you so much for watching. Two Point Campus launches August 9th. The game will be available on PC, PS4 and 5, Xbox One, Series X and S, Nintendo Switch and Game Pass. So if you want to check it out, click the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.